Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. You are facing some struggles, right? It might be some stress or a struggle. You don't know what to do. This man is a big deal. He is working against us. Will he do something to us? What will happen? Are you in such a fear in your ministry, work, business or even in your neighborhood? Do you feel like that? Don't be afraid. There is a God for you. Are you thinking what will he do? Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 17 says, Take up your positions, stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. A huge army has come to wage war. Not only that, three types of armies have come together. King Jehoshaphat is worried as to how he can win over them. God speaks through a prophet. You don't have to fight this battle. Stand and watch. I will fight for you. Just watch what I do. Don't be afraid. Don't be confused. God comforts him. See, God did a great miracle and gave a huge victory. Sometimes it is this way. For some things, God says, go fight. I will give you victory. For some things, he says, you don't need to fight this battle. Just stand firm and I will take care. God will fight the battle. Once a highly positioned police officer created a huge problem, intentionally he was creating issues with false and baseless claims. He was pressurizing us and causing much pain. They came and told me, we don't know what to do. He is a powerful officer. What can we do? We didn't do anything wrong. We are being just. But he wanted to find fault with us. He had to do something and create problems for the ministry. This was his intention. So we said we cannot fight battles or speak with them. We will let God know about that. God said don't do anything. Just keep quiet. I will fight this battle. Few days we were silent. We said let God take care. We don't have to go to the politicians. We know we don't need to go to anyone. Only God is enough for us. He will take care. We prayed in this way. What will happen if God fights our battles? The same officer was found guilty of taking bribes. He was put to shame and then he was transferred. He is not there now. The man who waged war is missing. God has given victory. We don't need to do anything. He knows where and how to fight battles and make things happen. Don't be confused nor be afraid. The enemy might be powerful. Who is more powerful than God in this world? Be it the American president, Jesus is greater than him. There is no power that is beyond him. There is no greater power. He is greater than everyone. If he finds powerful people will also come to nothing. Then why are you afraid? Rely on him. Don't be confused nor be afraid. Just say, you will fight for me. I will be silent, dear Lord, and be silent for a few days see what will happen father you are a god who fights our battles you are a god who gives us victory you fight for this son this daughter who is afraid and confused you give them victory and make them glad do a miracle for them in the name of lord jesus we pray amen amen